Hello, ladies and gentlemen, this is the one, the only, the Azathan, and we are back with War in the Plague Lands Part 2. It's going to be the brutal finale. The finale! The brutal finale! It is going to be pretty awful, actually. As it looks like our heroes are getting slaughtered at the moment. But it is a spawn based game. They can come back as long as they don't lose too many heroes. Maxwell Tyro still level. Nine. He's got Medallion of the Dawn. He can go crazy at some point. Pink now streaming up to try to take out Dark Green's base. Dark Green's got some units here. The Scarlet Knights are very strong, but they're just not holding on like he was hoping they would. And now the very Scarlet Monastery itself under attack. Will he finally deign to send? He's going to send reinforcements now. Good. That's not way too late or anything. Teal's got to do some damage. He's got to push him. Because right now, yellow and orange, or yellow and purple, really need the distraction. Purple, I, I, of course, I actually had a suspicion he had way more spawns than he'd been using. It just didn't seem like he had enough. But now that he's at the base, he's going to be doing tons. Noth, level 8. Ooh, the Baron Rivendare, level 8 as well. These damn temple are doing a great job on the front line. Things being burned, things being shot. Yellow, are you going to do enough damage? Yellow has almost nothing to contribute at the moment. Wow, he has really almost nothing. I mean, he's... he's not... Oh, come on, dude. Come on. You've got to have stuff. You've got to use that stuff that you have sitting there. Look at it. Look at it all. You were winning. Look at it all. So many groups. Oh, don't tell me Yellow just stops caring. He's like, I just gave up because it seemed more fun to be a douchebag. That's right. I called you a douchebag. Fucking deal with it. Suck it up. Why? Because Blue didn't save his base till way too late when he could have done it way before. That offends me. What's going on over here? Yellow, still not attacking while well, purple dies? Well, purple does a great job, but I think ultimately dies. Scarlet Grand Inquisitor, badass. Adamantine helmet down. Purple, I'm guessing, lost a hero there? No. No, he did not. <gasps> Pick it up! Get out of there! Purple, purple. Okay, Teal's back now. Teal's back. Teal's gonna fucking do some work. Except for the fact that purple's a little bit scared. This tower's not doing as much as I was hoping. I mean, this Grand Inquisitor's doing a lot of damage. But I think Teal's hoping to do more. Come on, yellow fucking care, dude. Alright, are you sending units? You should be attacking with all your units right now. You have a lot of groups. I can see that. All right, I, I don't know. Our Fairbanks is okay. Alexandros Mograin looking like a badass. Mithril Helmet, Ashbringer now. And Teal's units trying to surround and kill these things, but what are we doing? Why are we leaving purple alone? Why is this a thing? What's going on? Okay, is this... Who's fucking texting me? I have, like, no battery left, so... I, I, <laughs> better be someone I love. It's nobody. It's nobody I love at all. DG's main base is almost gone. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It's kind of dead as balls. Alright, Alexander's Mograid. Actually now getting a ham down. Her. He's trying to get away. He doesn't want to die. Thank God he's faster for some reason than a death knight on a horse with unholy aura. It makes all the sense. They're trapped now, says Gray. They're trapped now. Oh, Teal's getting in a bit of a pickle. His units, his heroes. <gasps> oh, he's got to be really happy no one was paying fucking attention there. That was a bad time for him. Oh, he's going to get Lady Blumel. Oh, wow. Wow, that damage. Oh, oh, she may not die. But I think uh, that Teal certainly is losing some things. Maybe. Oh, oh, seven. Uh, Bridget's back. People are dying. Things are... Marhajan's in the way. Oh, Barian's down. Oh, Bridget's dead. D Davil, Lightfire, any uh, items? Pick up the items, you can run away. Just get away. Oh, no, now it's down to Maharajin. Maharajin? Marjan. And lots of items left over, and Yellow's gonna back up. I think this is the wrong time to back up with Purple on the ropes here. He really needs all the help he can get. The Crypt Guardians are a bit brutal. Woo! It's looking fancy. What was the trade off? I don't know. He's, he's got Bridget. He hasn't spent any points yet. I don't even know what Bridget does. You, if you guys think I know a single one of these heroes' uh, like ability lineups, you're so wrong. See, this is why people, when they tell me to play a custom map, they don't understand. I have to play every race. I have to win the game. I have to lose the game. I have to play every event if I want to be anything competent. But sometimes I just do these because they're fun to look at and look how interesting. It's like, oh, it's a huge battle and the humans are holding and yeah, fuck yeah, humanity. Or, you know, like, yeah, the undead are wrecking. But I don't know. 
I don't know what they're gonna do. Like, I, in Azeroth Wars, I could predict and say, like, at level seven, she's gonna have enough of fire damage to kill off this number of archers, and that'll just completely counter her strategy, and it just has to get to that point. I don't know that in this game. I can't tell you. So that's why we sit here and yellow gets murdered after not helping anyone and purple getting murdered. Purple's pushing people out. Purple's pushing. Wow, Dark Green's actually got some things left here. The Scarlet Monastery getting upgraded at the moment. There's the Ooh, Plague Eruptors. Oh, they're so ugly. Green? Green's over here. Teal? Nothing going on. I mean, blue. Blue's, I'm sure, got units somewhere. He must have units somewhere. He's trying to still take this out. He hasn't given up. Oh, all of his units are actually down here in a big fight. Blue, how are, how are those heroes going? Taz oh, they're nowhere near the fight because you just don't want to do that. Okay, okay. What about you? Purple? Purple? Alexandra Smograin's still alive. Level 11 now. They're actually going to swing back. Oh. I mean, this starts to favor the, the alliance now that these units are so spread out. And Teal's going to have actually to just kill these units off. He's got a Bendis. She'll be getting units. Scarlet Templar taking up way too much damage. Wow, that hurts. But Teal now up here with purple kicking butt. Unholy Death Knights getting killed off one by one. Those Death Knight squads are starting to build up though. Huge. It's going to be whole armies of Death Knights and Paladins. They're trying to hold on to their tier one units. That's always been a trait I've noticed in these maps. It's a huge part of these strategies. Port. Huge part of these strategies is making sure that your units, uh, you're saving your tier one stuff and building up a hero squad with them. They're going to be there. Why not save them, right? Why not use them most effectively? Paladins, Death Knights, what have you. Scarlet Crusaders. I don't know. I don't know what you like to do with your time. But perhaps you like to die. Alexander Smograin is going to get brutal. He's going to get to the point where his ultimate starts wrecking entire undead armies. Or he's going to get aimed and it's going to be all over. Could happen. Oh, undead damned rangers. Of course those are elites that are being saved up. Yellow's clearing out the army there. Teal successfully defends this push as well. The undead now pushed back as their spawns have not come in yet. But I'm sure they'll have a return as a few units and spawns get wasted here by Teal. Teal's in the back taking a lot of damage. He's trying to hold this choke point, but he can get flanked at any moment. That's in fact what happening right now. And Teal needs to leave. He doesn't have the backup he thinks he needs. Teal. Teal's pinging the map, but Teal, maybe you should be paying attention to your fucking army getting murdered. Ooh, girl. Okay, he's just going to let it die. Fuck it. Alright, so green and dark green. Or yellow and dark green now have units that are going to attack there. Soon enough units are going to drop there. I can almost guarantee it. Blue. Did blue get cleaned up? I think blue got cleaned up. I think dark green's definitely getting cleaned up. Blue, what's up with you, buddy? He's got more units coming down. Saying DG's on the loose in the south. Skullman students coming down. Teal possibly being pressured from the west soon as they begin to intrude on the east. The east is not quite as far ahead as they would like and with the loss of Teal's army there, things like these flesh titans are going to be brutally difficult to deal with. And Teal is still fighting, still fighting. I can't select that cool unit because there's a thousand small shitty units surrounding it. But, oh, Mounted Crusader, okay. Just double check it on them. They, they scale pretty well. Teal and yellow now forced to hold purple with the flank, but the flank is going to run into Plague Champions. And units are smart enough to back up. Plague Eruptors, same goddamn thing. Just a little bit stronger, actually, Plague Eruptors are. Pink, Pink saying, I'll take care of dark green and yellow. You don't worry your pretty little head. Everything's fine. He's just base aiming at the moment. He's actually letting most of his army die. Uh, I like it. I like his spunk. His moxie. <laughs> oh, no. I said the word again. And will yellow and dark green have any chance of killing this off? I don't think so. Yeah. See, Undead are coming from here, and these units are kind of dying, and Ravinian's completely fine. He's not dead. Oh, God. Teal. All right. Teal, yellow, purple. They're winning it. They've killed a lot of Flesh Titans. They are melting the enemy lines. The Undead just cannot deal with it. Look at all of these abilities going off. Guardians of the Light, Feral Spirits, nowhere near the front. They wish they would be. Look at that. Yeah, now they're on the front. They're going to run up there and just whoop some serious Undead ass. Punch, punch, punch. Purple. Oh, the surround. Yellow, purple. Teal. Completely fine. Yellow, purple, I forget the fucking name of whatever I was talking about. Now Teal's under attack from across the bridge, and that means he's going to have to run back, and then purple and yellow are going to have a disadvantageous uh, engagement next time around with these folks. Scarlet Crusade Grand Inquisitors are awesome. 
new favorite unit. I don't even care that they have heavy armor. So cool. So cool. I love heavy armor units with magic attack. My heart, it sings to me. Bridget of Bendis, now up to level 9. Almost going to be as cool as, uh, you know, not Tarson, because he's a little shit and he's not in the fight. But Xandros Mogran, oh, but Orange moving down with a swift attack here. Ravager's Elite Ghoul variants, I guess. Skeleton Champions as well. As Purple and Teal taking the fight to the enemy. Huge advantage here with the magic damage they can bring to the fight. But, I mean, it's start. Oh! Wow, that's a lot of magic damage. That's a lot of magic damage. Hmm. Okay, the show. Oh, that's that put a. Okay, now I take it back. Those Grand Inquisitors having heavy armor sucks for them against that. Purple and yellow do not seem inclined to at all leave. Teal sticking in there as well, despite the fact that he's being attacked from the south. Uh, Gray's soon going to be a bit of a threat to him. Not much can be done. Towers possibly built. I don't know. But, oh, oh no. Oh no. Guys, the undead battleships are here. You know what this means? You know what this means? Look, he's upgrading it. He's like, oh, I need a guard tower. Oh, this is going to hurt. Because right now we're in the middle of a retreat. You cannot afford for this to happen in the middle of a retreat because your reinforcements will be spent. You have to retreat. Do it. Alexander's Mograin on the front line. Whooping the butt. Does he have an ability that maybe drains mana every attack or something like that that I'm not noticing? I don't know. It just seems like units die when he's attacking them. If they're Yeah, they do. They blow the fuck up. That's awesome. <laughs> All right. Teal and Orange still pushing. But this is not going to be good. Teal's already prepared. Scarlet Grand Inquisitors, they're looking semi-ready? I don't know. This is the next big front. Blue's going to try to hold against pink. And pink? I don't know. Ravinians. Oh, there's multiple. Never mind. Shut my mouth. Biomaw's alive. Pink's still got five heroes. Fuck me. That's a lot of ultimates. Cauldron Lord, Cauldron Lord, Headmaster of Skullvance, Necromancer, House of Barav. What? Head. Now green's attacking with gray as well. Teal, what will your answer be? Still engagements going on up here as they take things back. Undead forces scattered about. Yellow. Darian Mograine, his avatar, very scary. I'll give him that. But I don't know if it's scary enough to... Oh my god, this is going to suck so much. I'm just waiting for it to happen. Go, 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 says gray. And there's go. Okay, so it looks like he's pushing for the fight now. There's two entrances. Oh, this is going to be awesome. Oh, this is going to be awesome. Oh, look at them. Look at the humans fighting in the choke points. They're not... I don't know if they can hold. Look at the undead throwing themselves wantonly into the breach, my friends. Oh, I love... Oh, look at it. All right. So far, Blue's going to be holding on quite well. It looks like he's got enough healers here, and the buffs are still pretty good, as always, for the Alliance forces. But the undead almost equal with the number of auras they are being given. And Blue's forces get out beyond the breach, which means that they no longer have the advantage of the choke point, something they really need to take advantage of, given the fact that there are more units out here for their enemies. Possibly not, though. I could be talking out of my ass. It looks like they're doing fine. Uh, Pink might have gotten a little overexcited there. Let's back out a moment and see what's going on over in the east nothing over in the west lots of shit lots of awesomeness is going on and a healing aura from dark master ganley no wait is this draining health holy fucking shit me oh he is doing a reverse <gasps> it's a reverse healing rain oh my god that's awesome it sucks for blue that's really... Oh, Durgan. Durgan, no! Durgan's dead. Alright, these units are all dying. And he just continues. Darkmaster Gandling just sucking the health out of these units. Wow, that is... That's almost like a... I don't know, death and decay for an entire army, but center around your hero and... I don't know, it's interesting. It's really interesting. I almost prefer death and decay, but that AoE ability, I can't deny, it's pretty cool. Blue still has so many towers here. It's a question of whether or not will they be able to get through here, because Blue is being, I'm guessing, decent about sending reinforcements now. Tarson's still way in the back, can't do anything with him. All the reality points are set for that point. He's grabbing them all. He's getting them to the front line. He knows. He knows he's in trouble. This is a goddamn plague art, guys. I know I was joking before, but that's a lot of undead. Look at the meat wagons hurling corpses, undead units being sent back from the grave. 
and just as ever, tons of heroes waiting out here to snatch up your soul upon death so that he can throw it into the cauldron of experience. And Dark Wave goes off. I don't even know what that is, but let's watch it from this side. Oh, it's going down. The guard tower being built back up again. More attacks. Blue, he's got reinforcements. Dark Green certainly has some nice high-level heroes here. All level 6. Can he do anything? Can they turn the tide? Blue's holding. I don't know what's going on over here. T they've pushed way far up. Way, 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 way far up. I think gray and green realizing they might actually be at less of an advantage than they thought. But these undead battleships are going to spew out units any moment now. I'm so scared. And gray is sending more reinforcements. I think blue might break here. Without dark green's heroes permanently involved in the conflict, I don't see him being able to hold. These units are all set to hold position, so they just soak up experience. They're not actually fighting using many abilities or anything at all really it's a shame to see blue's gonna lose a lot of the stuff but the matrix of towers is still difficult for them to deal with and now with catapults he's able to take them down a bit more easily purple yellow and dark teal are kicking butt pushing the army further and further back but they're just waiting saffron all these things are gonna spew out on the thaddeus it's gonna be a choke point to favor the undead and it's gonna be a problem Orange painting the map, pink streaming more units up, the breach is broken, but blue will not give the hell up as Dark Green sits there not using his heroes in the conflict. I know he doesn't want to get aimed, but come on man, be a better lot than that. Look at his ceiling hilling everything up. He's having a bad day, but you don't see him complaining. I don't even know anymore. Half speed feels like the only speed at which I can make sense of this world. And a huge ton of units is going to come out here. And these AoEs and ultimates, oh god, healing, okay healing words, thank god. Uh, I don't know that this army needs that. It seems kind of broken. But that's what's happening. Blue's still trying to hold on. Gendry. Gendry with probably so many heroes. He's got six heroes. Oh my god, he's got six heroes. And they're all... Oh my god. Pink, how many heroes? Oh, Pink's got five heroes. They've got 11 heroes between them. That's why they're going to win. This, this, this is going well. But, uh, unfortunately for T... Oh! That, that invulnerability didn't last very long there, buddy. And he wants to run a single unit back through the army, and he can't, so he's gonna have to move the whole army. This is the problem with having hero groups and stuff like that. You really start to overemphasize the importance of individual things. Uh, you either keep them out of the way or you lose them, I guess. I, you know, I bag on people for not doing it, but it, it's a point. It's a fair point. Has he lost him yet? No. Actually, Alexandros Mograin is now up to level 14. He's 2,500 health, and he's becoming an absolute monster. He's got chaos damage. Oh, goodness. All right. Pink and gray broke through. Blue? Blue, are you going to give up? No, he's going to hold at the new place, an outpost. 6,000 gold available. He could build another upgrade to something. Units from Marden hold keep? Not quite yet. It's going to be a long fight. They're not going to be able to do anything for a while. Is it going to be enough time for teal, yellow, and purple to push through? Oh, they're all losing stuff. Oh, it's so bad. Darian Mograine's huge. Take that as you will. Wow, Thaddeus ate a big dick for no reason. I genuinely don't know why he was there. He just died. All right, more attacks now. This is one time speed. God damn it. Slow it down. All right. So things are going crazy now. Blue's got a decent choke point, a nice number of units, and Dark Green's units are still here soaking up experience. How nice of him to do that. That's awesome. Real uh, stand-up guy not doing anything. I'm sure he's doing stuff. Unholy Death Knight's now going to get a flank on Teal's units here, and it's going to be a slaughter. Teal really needs to start paying more attention, but he's more interested in the Scarlet Templar, which are admittedly fucking amazing, but uh, there's, there's undead ships. There's undead ships there. And I'm super worried. Alright, blue. Blue's holding this arcade tower. I'm not sure that's doing much good, but blue's holding in this reverse healing tranquility now, melting the bones from his enemies. Ah, oh, make it stop. I mean, it's just draining slowly. Our purple. Purple's getting caught. Yellow's getting caught. Teal's getting caught. There's too many undead units here. You guys gotta pull back to a better position. Teal does have a tower here. I'll give him that. Teal's human. Yeah, Teal's human. Outpost being built. I don't know by who. Waves Blade? Who's Waves Blade? Waves Blade is Teal. Teal doing it. Teal being a badass. Saffron now near the front lines, but finally looks like possibly a stabilization here as a purple swell of reinforcements will be enough to stop it. But a green group of Unholy Death Knights comes streaming in. 
Possibly for a surround and a hero aim. Oh, they want the Alexandros Mograin. Oh, they want the Mograin. Oh, they want the Darien Mograin. They want the sweet hot Darien Mograin. Let me, but they're driven away by the damage presented by the chain, or rather, fork lightnings that were coming out of there. Pink, how you doing? Pink's wrecking balls. Pink is destroying blue across the field. Blue, probably. Blue left. Blue's out of it. Blue said, fuck this game. Uh, Dark Green now controlling Blue's heroes. How very kind of him. That's the kind of thing I like to see. He's got some units. He's got a Scarlet Sanctuary. It's called a Sanctuary, but I don't know how useful it's going to be. Oh, shit. All right, lots of stuff dying on the front lines here, and I think it's mostly undead stuff. Waves Blade, how you doing? He's looking good. Bridget Mograin. Bridget of Bendis, my apologies. And Maharajan, both above level 10. Purple with units of Fairbanks, level 12. High Lord Alexander Smogain, I think max level 15. He might have hit max. That might be it. Chaos damage, brutally hard to kill, uh, although these Unholy Death Knight squads can do that. Remember, Death Coil. Uh, you get enough of them, you start to be able to do things you shouldn't be able to do. It's a little broken. It really is a little unfair, where you're like, oh, good, my only hope of holding is countered by the fact that he just has... Oh, Sir Zelix level 14, he's looking awesome as well. I think, oh, I want to see a fight between those two. The Corrupted Templar and the Madman, the Ashbringer himself. An Unholy Death Knight almost goes down, not going to go yet, that's okay. A few more running into the fray, not sure what they're thinking, but, you know, they've got the balls, and that's what's important. Ah, uh, they've got all the balls. How's he doing? Avendis, completely fine. Alexandros, completely fine. Words, words, I can words completely fine. Blue, not really holding anymore. Uh, not really his fault either. I mean, it's just, it's just not looking good. Dark Green's gonna try to sneak out. Dark Green's gonna make a run for it. Dark Green's got balls. Because there could easily be just tons and tons of groups of Dark Green's units that are back here that he wasn't microing properly. That's more likely to happen than for you to be like, oh, this strategy worked perfectly as I had planned. That seems unlikely. Blue still attacking. Grand Inquisitors. Purple says it's been GG. Purple, but you've got a uh, you've got Alexandros Mograine, bro. I mean, I know you don't want to go, bro, but you gotta go, bro. Right? You got Alexandros Mograine, bro. You are fine. I actually don't know if he's gonna be fine. Let's see how this goes for him. Alright, Mass Bloodlust. Oh, wow, it's got a Parasite? Alright, I was gonna say, that can't be another buff. That can't be another buff. It's not okay. They're holding well. Uh, Dark Green does leave the game finally, just saying, fuck this, I'm out. Now it's gonna be this little batch of resistance here, and when these undead ships disgorge their cargo, it's gonna be a whole other story. It's these three, these three have been holding this base, but it's not enough. Surprisingly, says Purple. I don't actually know what he's going to be all that surprised about. Let's go to times one speed, watch the insanity unfold. More attacks going down in the south. Green being annoying, light blue being annoying, gray being annoying. Although the bases remain in Teal's hands at the moment. Yellow has lost just about every other hero. It's true. Maxwell Tyros, level 14. Yeah, Tyrion's dead. I'll give you that. Oh, okay, and now there goes more Death Knights coming around to probably beat the crap out of our... Ooh, our good players. The uh, evil team's whooping butt and having a wonderful time doing it. Oh, they're kicking ass. Look at these, the Crypt Lords smashing through the human armies. The human armies have no chance. I mean, let me call it at this point. Having seen the fact that the Allies chat is, in fact, our evil players, and then knowing how this game goes, I'm just going to go ahead and say they probably probably lose. Ow, but it's going to be fun to see because at one point they had a huge advantage. Now they're just sort of sort of disappointments. Scarlet Templar are going to go down. No chance for him. Oh, but he you know, he stayed alive longer than I would have thought. And the Ranger goes down. Big group of uh, big space opens up there. And, oh, the base is there. More reinforcements mean this base might actually stay alive just a little bit longer. Uh, Blue's units being cleaned up. Blue actually <laughs> hasn't lost these. He left, but he hasn't lost. Somebody out there is really being awesome and making sure to control. I don't know who it is, but good on him. Good on him. Lots of scary, scary things. Sir Zelik and Thane Korthaz, both alive. 
Five five unholy death knights. I mean, it's just it's a hero aim nightmare. Teal's got his units rallied up here. They're gonna die. They're just gonna get in fights and die. Teal, what the fuck are you doing? Teal, teal, teal under the open sea. What are you doing right now? I don't know. What are you fucking? Ah! He says he's a tier one. Has Yellow not been spending any money? Yellow probably hasn't spent any money in the game. Oh, Yellow never upgraded anything in the game. Are you serious? Yellow never upgraded anything. He never built a single keep. No. Oh, that is so unfortunate. Biomaz keys. I mean, they killed him. But Pink just lost a really good unit. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh, purple's been driven back. Oh no. Alright, it's purple and teal stuck in there. Yellow, I thought you were doing so well, but you've been shit all game. What are you doing? Oh no, teal's under attack. There's gonna be there's gonna be an army soon. I can feel it. There are feelings inside me. He's like, dude, please build it. You can start now. It's not too late. It's never too late. Just build it. Alright, here it goes. There's gonna be a fight. There's gonna be a huge fight here. Alright, lots of units being sent in. Tons of AoE damage coming out. Mortar teams and stuff doing their job. Towers going nuts. Yellow now on the front line. Yellow didn't upgrade tiers. <laughs> yeah, mm, yellow, I'm sorry. You, sh you, you gotta read up on a game type when you play it. It's just polite. Uh, especially in a game where it's like 6v6 because, I mean, you're essentially ruining at least five people's days. That's how it works. You're ruining five people's days. It sucks. Blues units get wiped up. Oh, and now alright, Gray is killing off Teal at the moment. How is this fight going? This fight's actually going fairly well for our Alliance players. They're holding. And their heroes are getting pretty buff. Marajan now at level 15. He's buff. But Feralina's actually green has very low heroes. But Yellow's doesn't have any chance of holding this without the help of Teal, and Teal's gonna be stretched a little thin here as these Oh, they're shit in his base. Uh, I think those did land, guys. I think those landed. That's definitely a landing party right there. And now Teal's in the shit. A lot of towers are going to be doing pretty decent semi-whatever damage. Actually, not not much at all. Feels like they're just not getting hit sometimes. It's very odd. The undead are kicking ass. Oh my god. Guardians of Light all coming down. It's not enough. Darien goes into his full avatar mode. Oh, but he gets frozen. What? He should be immune to magic. But okay. Back in my day, bullshit like that didn't happen. Green's gonna aim the crap out of Tyr's hand. I don't think that's... He thinks he can revive Bioma. That seems fair. That seems super fair. Die with honor, says Yellow. Yellow is just having his ass whooped. It's unfortunate. Maxwell right next to him, like, I'm so tiny, but I lived longer. Hooray! And the death. The death is here, guys. Tears hands already down. I don't think there's much to say. That's a handy undead victory right there. I mean, except for this. This is alive. Are they going to kill this? They'd probably kill this. Alright, this is the last bastion. Let's go ahead and watch it on times two speed. I don't think there's anything else. It's all dead. Teal, I mean, Teal has some reinforcements here. Bam. Enough to potentially get them out of that. I have more people I don't care about on Facebook. Okay, cool. Doing a great job, actually. Flesh Titans are awesome. Teal getting cleaned up there. Yellow getting totally cleaned up there. How's purple? Nobody. There's nothing going on, actually. Blue, is he still trying? Okay, he's going to finally kill off the last of blue. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. And there's going to be an attack here. Flesh Titans and Plague Eruptors leading the fight. It'll be a tough position for the Undead to break. The Outpost. Badass. Badass Outpost. You know what I'm talking about. It's going to do some damage. And there's the Forked Lightnings. Very good. I mean, basically nothing happening here. They just want the Meat Wagon to start working down on the, uh, the barricades and the towers. And they can start feeling a little bit safer. But damn, these Unholy Guardians come out doing some good damage. 
Very strong. I'll give him the noob yellow there. Not building any tiers. That's... That's a bit much. Alright, blue's finally out of the game. Martin hold keep and guard tower's gonna do the best they can. But really, this is the last bastion of human life here. Ramstein, 2 OP, needs nerf. GG. Oh, so he's out. Wait. Is Teal gonna? Is Teal gonna hold? Teal's gonna give it a shot. Because Waves Blade is the kind of guy I like. He's awesome. He's actually the only person left on his team, I think. Yeah. Wow. Look at him hanging in there to the very end. He's gonna protect it. Let's go ahead and get in close and we can't see Jack Crab. Oh, the flames. The Flesh Golems trying to beat their way up this bridge at the moment, but it's filled with a coffee of light and justice and Crusaders just whipping all the ass. Bridget Abend is level 15 in the background, actually taking some damage, uh, making everyone some vulnerable, but she herself is vulnerable. Lucky she is pretty good there. She gets shut up, but the invulnerability does buy them enough time to do significant damage in these guard towers. Also taking a little bit of damage as well. Hopefully some spawns. <gasps> Look, there's a bunch of stuff right here. Scarlet Grand Inquisitor, the only chance you have. Dark Green's unit's still alive. Oh, there's just a little bit of justice here in the back. Lord Alexei Barov could die to just some uncontrolled units. That's always embarrassing when that happens. You never want to. You never want that to be the game that happens. All right, come on. He must see purple. He's like, you just selected those ones. How do you not see these ones? I know it's a very stressful time for you. I can't blame you. You know, shit happens. But you've got... Got a whole nother army right there. You're welcome to use. The undead are getting cocky. Look, they're the ones with all the buffs now. How are your buffs? Your buffs are still... Oh, wait. That's still undead. Your buffs are still really, 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 really good. No? No? Okay, he's gonna say fuck it. <laughs> Defend the base? Fuck it. I don't need it. You crazy, son. Damn ranger. What is that huge thing running around? I know it's not a plague zombie. Come on. It's not an unholy guardian either. All right, now he sees him. Now he sees him. Bridget of Bend is still alive. She's still going to do things. This is another choke point. That's all he wanted to do. He wanted to lure him up here to the guard towers where the AOE would continue. Their deaths would be assured. Oh, outpost attack now. He's like, sick, bro. Bro, I'm getting all bro -y up in here. Bridget of Bendis, you going to go invulnerable again? This is the perfect place to do it. The absolute perfect place to do it. Meanwhile, Maharajan, I don't even know what her specialty is, but I'm sure it's going to be pretty awesome. All right, Purple's units doing work, doing work. Everything's dead, Jesus. This really is the last bastion of human. This is the last, this is it. This is it, this is where humans die, guys. On this little staircase, humanity has to hold the tide of undead at bay. This is it, this is the only thing left, the only spawns, the only way humanity can survive is if this army does it. And Ramstein's on the front line now, he's actually taking Tons of damage. He could be killed very easily here in just a second, but he gets the hell out of dodge. Oh, man. And I'm sure Purple losing some units there as he left them on too long. Oh, it's the it's the sick rain and the, the bugs. It's too much. It's too much for our hero. The guard towers are still alive. Yeah, that's a lot of undead shit. Oh, is that the Lich King? That felt like the Lich King. That's Arthas. Yeah, that's Arthas being broken. Yeah, boy, he says. Yeah, boy. Yeah, indeed. It's it's super strong. Wow, these Unholy Guardians managed to get through the wall and start attacking the heroes. And that's going to leave her no option. <coughs> she has to run away. They're too strong. Uh, there's the breaking of the last of it. Alright, green. <laughs> green. He had a more idea of whether or not it was close. He's going from the position of, like, I lost a lot of units, and I was on the run the whole game and just supporting. I got brutally face-murdered. They're almost like, oh, no, everyone was fine. We're totally good. That's the dichotomy that you have in this game. Some people are having a great time. Some people are really fucking pissed off and not able to do anything about it. Waves Blade, 12,000 gold. All right, everything's going to die. That's all right. There it is. One down. Two down. Oh, she's alive. Mar nah, she's not anymore. Death Knights finally do the murdering that they were meant to do. Broken promises. What is it? What could it be? Is it a ring? Is it the one ring? Give me the goddamn broken pro- Alright. Uh, Holy Sword of Paladin so touched by the light it obeys him even in a death grants ton of damage and the ability to cast Purge and Devotion Aura. Ooh. And that's the end of our, our humans. I think we can- That's- that's it. 
There's nothing left. All right, everyone, we had a good time. Sharon, Seramat, Lemonade, 319. I'm going to go ahead and read the names out at the end anyway, just to be nice. Uh, that's the end of the game there, though. All right, so we had Sharon no Kuni as orange, Oka Meaden as pink, Gendry as gray, OPG Tech Core, Tecker is going to be, oh, purple. Sermant is green, Rear is brown, Lemonade 319 is light blue, Waves Blade is teal, King of Night is, or Knight of King. I got it, my Dixlexia got in there. Knight of King is going to be blue, El Chabalan is yellow, Coulter C was dark green, and Thunder Crow. Thunder Cow was red. Thank you all for sending this amazing game. War on the Playlands. Go check it out. Go try it out. Have a good time. Having a good time. And I will see you all in the very next episode. Thank you very much. And have a good one, folks. Bye.